three. I think that's T25 right there. And then we got the two bolts right here. Got the three T25 out and the two 10 millimeter bolts out. So now it should just pop off at the top, but I got to disconnect that wire. Okay, got that disconnected. She's a, I'm guessing um, when I originally took took a, the third brake light off to smoke it, um, when I got ready to put it on, I guess I tightened these bolts up too tight and that's why it started cracking. So it is what it is. I didn't want to buy another one, um, but it is what it is. Now I got to take these four bolts off. Comparison the old versus the new. It didn't exactly line up perfect. Uh, one of the outer holes, I had to take uh, take my knife and kind of widen the hole a little bit. But after I did that, it went on in. This time I'm just gonna do kind of hand tight. Cause I do not want to buy another one of these motherfuckers up. This one little third break, like $150. Ain't no motherfucking way. Man, I'm about to throw this jump back on the truck. So we done. As y'all know, man, with anything aftermarket, that shit does not just fit right. You kind of got to make that shit fit. All right, guys, got that took care of. Um, about to end the video, and then um, tell you something else that I found out about the truck. Now I had a truck like four months now. I got it like the Friday right before Father's Day, and. So I done had it four months, been driving or whatever. Driving the night all the time. And I noticed something the other night that the front doors of this truck have shadow lights that somebody else had installed. So I'm guessing um, they shorted out or wires twitched. I don't know what it was. But for the first time when I opened the uh, door the other night, they came on. Now, the passenger side still doesn't come on. <clears throat> but the driver's side does. And of course, you can't see it in the daytime. But, and of course, has the Cadillac logo. That's it. This shit been here the whole time, and I ain't never seen it. 